Comrade Amin Suleiman. I represent Pagi Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, sir, with your permission and leave of the House, I move that a bill for an act to amend the Federal Protechnic Act, CAP F17 laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2014, to establish the Federal Polytechnic Pagi Kano State to provide opportunities for technical education in furtherance of government economic objectives of ensuring efficient, dynamic, and self-reliant economy and for related matters be read the second time. I move around, Speaker. It is a state, and my own local government in particular, that accommodates virtually 90% of Nigerians from other states residing in Kano State. And this has helped the local government and the states in accommodating and at the same time admitting, I mean, uh, benefiting from entrepreneurial skills that are brought to the state. What this bill seeks to provide, Mr. Speaker, my honorable colleagues, is to help formalize and establish an institution that will give opportunity for people residing in that state, since there is completely no technical or polytechnic in Kano State that is of Pedra. Providing this, Mr. Speaker, would provide quality, affordable, and easy access to tertiary education to the people and to provide opportunities for the people who are not only enterprising but are endowed with technical know how so as to improve their technical talent in different fields of studies and future endeavors. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, it will also help to fulfill the daily educational desire of the school leavers in tandem with the yearning and aspiration of tertiary education, hence reduce the overpopulated few tertiary institutions that belong to the state and to also provide opportunities for all Nigerians residing in the state. Honorable colleagues, Mr. Speaker, sir, you may also wish to know that Kano, being the second, like I argue, largest populated state, require opportunities in this aspect. There is thus a private higher institution, and the little owned by the state is being overwhelmed. I sincerely and wholeheartedly appeal to my honorable colleagues to assist, allow this bill to go for the second reading so that we will have input from the public and for the House to decide thereafter. Honorable Speaker, sir, my honorable colleagues, I sincerely appeal for these people on behalf of the people I represent.